Hi, I'm Becky Nunn with Nunn Design, owner and creator of the Patera Jewelry Finding Line. Patera is Latin for ornamental amulet and is cast in the United States. In this segment, designer Mary Lynn Maloney will be using the Patera collage sheets and transfer sheets and the Patera glass domes to create easy, simple, fabulous projects. Have a great time. Hi, I'd like to show you a couple projects today using our glass domes. One is a pendant and the other is a really cute pair of earrings. To make my jewelry projects, I'll be using a small dish of water, scissors, the Patera double-sided circle punch, a paintbrush, the Patera small circle framed pendant, the Patera large thin flat tags, the 20 millimeter glass dome, the 13 millimeter glass dome, an acrylic varnish, diamond glaze, the graphic florals collage sheet, and the Paris transfer sheet. I'll start by punching out my circle image from my collage sheet. And I just turn my punch over so I can look right down into the die and see exactly what I'm punching. Place my collage sheet in there and just punch. So there's my cute circle and I can set this aside. Now I'm going to glue this image into my framed pendant using my varnish and I'm going to use it as an adhesive and as a varnish. So what I do is just brush it a real generous amount directly into the pendant and I make sure I cover the walls of the pendant and then I pick up my image pop it in there and I'm going to press it down just for good measure just to make sure it's in contact with the metal and then I'll come back with an, another uh, coat of varnish one thin coat will do it and you set that aside to dry now I'll attach my dome over my image and I'll use the diamond glaze. I just pour a little bit on the back of the glass dome and pop that right down over my image. I'll press down on it pretty firmly and that presses out any air bubbles that might be under there and then set that aside to dry. The glass domes are a real easy one-step process and now I'd like to show you how to use them making a pair of earrings on flat tags. The first step in creating my earrings is choosing images that I like from the Paris transfer sheet. I'm using a sheet here that I've uh, used before for several projects which is what is so great about these image sheets. So I'm going to take my glass dome and move it around choosing what areas I'd like to use. So I've chosen this fleur-de-lis image and I'll just cut that out because it's already in a handy little circle shape. But I decided I also wanted to use part of an image and so I'm using my little dome as kind of an auditioning glass seeing what areas I like and I've chosen this Paris word right here. So I'm going to hold my dome down on top of that and trace around it. And that gives me a great cutting line. So once I've traced it and cut it out, it will look like this. Here's my fleur de lis, here's my Paris. Next, these get put into my little dish of water for about 30 to 40 seconds. And you can see the top film has separated from the paper backing. and I simply slide it right onto the metal and then get rid of the paper backing. Set it down on my work surface and blot it with the paper towel to get rid of extra moisture 
and any air bubbles that might be in there. And you can see I have a little extra on either side of the earring and you can either cut that off or as I'll do in the next step I just adhere it to the back of the earring. And I'm using a clear varnish over my Paris image. I'll flip it over, put a little more on the back, and just fold it around. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit. Now I'll let that dry completely and I'll do the uh, second earring. So now I'm ready to attach my glass domes on top of my flat tags. But I have a, an example here of an earring where I put the transfer down but I did not glue it around to the back and I'm simply going to trim that with my little pair of scissors. Very simple. Next, I'll take my diamond glaze, put several drops on the back of my glass dome, and just glue it right down over my Paris image. I'll do the same thing with my second earring, trimming the excess off the sides. Oops, they're fiddly sometimes. Putting diamond glaze on the back of my glass dome. And popping it right down on top of the flat tag right over the image. So now I'll let my earrings dry and then I'll attach the ear wires to them. The glass domes are really interesting to work with because they give whatever image is underneath them a certain cool magnification. So have fun being creative with them and use them on all different kinds of pateras.